Hello, my name is Evelyn Lucas and I am in SPD 490 and this is my mock IEP introduction video. Um, first, we start with an introduction of all parties. I am Evelyn Lucas. I am the special education teacher. Um, in this meeting, the diagnostician will be in this meeting, speech pathologist, occupational therapist, general education teacher, which is a teacher that works in gen ed or a special teacher, which consists of PE, music, art, or dance. Um, also in this meeting, the assistant principal or principal may also join us along with the parent. BRS services, which is behavior resource specialist, if the child is on a BIP. Um, reason for the meeting, this is an annual R. This is in a meeting that is, occurs once a year. Um, meeting norms so all parties heard and respected. Review of the PLAF. So prior to this, the diagnostician will send out or uh, give the parent a notice of procedural safeguards. And this is what it may look like. Um, and the parent is supposed to sign it, sign and date it, saying that they received the per, uh, procedural safeguards. Then the assistant principal or principal may read off um, HIPAA rules and um, things that occur in this meeting will not be repeated outside of the IEP meeting or outside of the IEP team. Um, then the special education teacher will talk about the student uh, stating what type of class the student is in. In this particular class is a communication class. It is a self-contained class, uh, consists of students kinder, kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, this particular student is in fourth grade um, and communication is a class that is not able to go to gen ed Gen, general education classes, um, unless it is special. So we go to PE, music, and art. Um, let's see. Then the teacher role, read the plath. So for a reading go, uh, Austin uses go talk to communicate his wants and needs. He is able to ask for pretzels, cookies, milk, and juice independently. He requires a ver verbal or gestural prompt to get his device to use it. He does not seek out his device if he wants something. He will grab or get the item he wants. At the time, Austin does not tack pictures or objects. Um, the speech teacher also reads off her goals for the student, which is to mand for five or six items that he wants or needs. Um, it says, according to therapy data and, up, and observation, Austin is able to effectively use his GoTalk device to request highly de desired items such as cookie, pretzel, milk, tint, bunny, and juice. With partial physical prompts, he is able to request desired, request desired actions such as hug, tickle, spin, or walk. He does not consistently or dependently use the action buttons when he is, I'm sorry, even when, even when that is what he wants, but instead will request an item that relates to the action. Um, Austin is able to sit with his device nicely on his lap without banging or hitting for a few minutes at a time. When excited, he will start hitting or banging the device with his hands. Verbal and gestural cues are helpful in stopping these behaviors, but they will often continue depending on his mood at the time. Okay. Um, let's see. For math, Austin will be able to match identical and non-identical pictures in a field of six. Austin does a good job scanning, but when the field gets to be larger, he has more difficulty. Austin does not label pictures or objects at the time. Austin is able to sort colors and sometimes shapes. Austin does not sort non-identical objects or pictures. Um, let's see. So then we go over objectives and goals. 
um, which goals are and our objects objectives can be discontinued uh, because the student was not able to master the goal. So sometimes we have to make the goal similar in hopes that he can master the goal later. So um, maybe instead of a field of six, if the student is not able to master that, the student may be able to master a field of four. If not four, then sometimes two. Um, extended, extended school year is, excuse me, is offered to students that have regression. Um, if they have learned, learned a test within eight weeks, but is not able to retain the information, then they can, they are able to go to ESY. And also ESY is something for maintenance, to keep up maintenance and it's uh, considered critical life skills, like toileting, um, putting on clothes, um, asking for wants and needs. So just because a child is in special education does not mean that they are able to go to extended school year. Um, let me see. Um, okay, so um, concluding my video by providing an explanation of how I would actively listen to it to and address the needs of families and other stakeholders throughout the meeting, I think is always um, first say something good about the student, how the student is making progress, then state the new goal or objective, and then ask the parent or anybody that has a question or concern, um, have the floor open for them to ask that question. Also, another, um, Another important thing to do is to send out goals prior to the IEP or ARD meeting. This way parents are aware of the new goals and objectives and they may also can um, assist with better helping the teacher with the student's wants or needs. So if the student needed new speech goals and we in the classroom, we were not able to state any more wants or needs that the student uh, may want the parent can like maybe bring a toy in, something that the student may want to play with uh, during um, while they're at home, and then we can use it as a visual, and the the student can be rewarded with this particular toy if they have done or finished a task. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, So the student at the time did not have did not have to take any more assessments uh, because all the assessments were taken last ARD, which was last year in January. So they do the assessments every other year, and then the student was given an assistive technology, which is go to talk, go talk, and this go talk uh, assistive technology looks kind of like an iPad. And it has a sheet where you can put different pictures on there and you can record yourself saying the picture. So once the student actually taps the picture, it states what it is. Like if it was bottled water, it will say water. And so the student can tap that and state that he wanted water. Um, it can have a picture of a bunny if the child wanted to have a bunny. Um, let's see. Um... I think that is about it.